Hello everybody, it's uh, Zane Reborn here with an, with an episode of Jua uh, Fixes. Uh, hope you enjoyed the Discord ideas. That one was, uh, uh, I don't know how that went actually because I haven't recorded yet at this time. Your, uh, these episodes have been made out of order. For now, all I've done, all I've done is the Aztecs and something that definitely has not come out yet. So that, but that's next video. Anyway, today we're gonna be doing. This is like the order. It's the order is on like every five episodes. It's always gonna go like this. Something random, three re three three works, and then one Discord ideas, and then repeat. So now, now that we've done the Discord ideas, it's time for something random, which is all the hybrids that I've ever made in the game. Like first I did vanilla creatures, and now we're doing hybrids, starting with Wyvern Gen Two, aka Tarbagopteryx. Uh, this one it follows in like the, the regular Tarbosaurus and my reworked Hatsagopteryx, which you saw in the last video. Okay, so here it's, I think my idea, I think I remember this. When I was making Fafnir, and I said that, uh, I was looking, I was talking about the, like, uh, the, the build of the Ramphorinco, the Rinkoids, and I was like, huh, I guess they kind of do look like dragons if you just, like, give them the theropod ideas and then, and, and then it just clicked. And then this idea came to mind. And they added Pelagornis as a silhouette so I can have a more... Well, not exactly a dragon shape, but it's like, you know. Here's the drawing for... Each of these actually have a drawing. So, here is the drawing for uh, Tarbagopteryx, a.k.a. Wyvern Gen 2. I call it Wyvern Gen 2 so that they're all... When I want to look at the Wyverns, I just scroll straight to the bottom and all four of them are right there except Tempest, which is... Which we'll get to that later. Ooh, actually, I might have to rework Tempest a bit, but we'll get to that later. Uh, anyway, these are all the hybrids, including the Apexes as well. So, uh, Superiority Strike, I made these guys to make to be like multiple doing wild cards. Superiority Strike, Fearless Flap. I actually changed Fearless Flap to be precise. And I think my idea was to make it an impact as well, to make it a little better. But this thing already has two impacts already, so it's fine. Group Shattering Impact, Impact and Run, no escape. Ooh, wait, why didn't I give you Squawk and Run? Because that's the thing Hatsagopteryx has now. Oh, I think that would be oh, 2 OP, though. Uh, re uh, description. Since these solitary predators can't fly, the Wyvern Gen 2 has adapted to fishing by rivers and foraging in the forests. Due to its slow metabolism and smaller build, it can go without food for long periods of time. Just like Kevin, he can go two months without food. Although I don't... I... I... I don't think you could go two months without food. You'll probably still need food every now and then. Because you are still a... You're smaller than the other creatures, but you're still a pretty big dinosaur. Can I call you a dinosaur? You're a dragon, technically. Um, distraction resist... All these different resistances. But this is, like, meant to be the weakest of the wyverns. I might even make you even weaker by replacing that with... Group Armor Piercing Impact. Group Piercing Impact. There we go. That was my only rare hybrid, and apparently I only have four epic hybrids, including a new one. Uh... Um... Gang Cretaceous spoilers! Don't watch the video if you haven't watched season four yet! Uh, okay, okay, uh... Start with Dillalania. Uh, let's see, uh... I'm drawing a blank here, but Dillalania's... Was you the first? No, you were the first. I think you came, like, straight after soon. I have reworked a lot of swords, but that's an episode for another day. I've given you Daring Strike, which needs a bit of a buff, if you ask me. Uh, Venom Spit, which is exclusive to the Lava Source. I won't get into it today, because again, I'll save that for when we go into the Lava Source in depth. You can read it here, though, if you want, so you can get an idea of how I reworked my Lava Source. Lethal Acceleration. This is a new ability. Like, if Ludia, since I, I really like the idea of Ludia just combined like, not wanting to leave out any features from two hybrids, so they just make a brand new ability that combines both abilities. I honestly really like that, so I'm in implementing it into a lot of my creatures, including Lethal Acceleration, which is basically... It speeds itself up, it deals its damage, and then it can just, like, the enemy starts bleeding out for, like, three turns. And it's only a cooldown of two, and it's a priority move, so it's like, oh, such a good move. I think that comes from my Megalania idea of being, like, super slow and then having group acceleration or something. Cunning Rampage, I might... Nah, nah, let's keep it, keep, keep it as a uh, Cunning Rampage. I was gonna say maybe Delayed Cunning Rampage, but that, but that I hate Delayed Cunning Rampage. Venomous Counter on Escape Rampage, and some lackluster resistances to make up for its insane combination ability up here. That's a 25% crit chance, I just realized! Uh, Dillolania is basically a cross between a frilled-necked lizard and a monitor. 
It is also capable of spitting venom as a defense mechanism. I didn't give too much thought into the description of this guy. Ah, whatever, it's still cool. Uh, I, I didn't draw you out yet because I haven't gotten to the Dilophosaurus episode yet. Okay. Diplotator Gen 2? Uh, no, no drawing for this guy either, because it's literally just a Gen 2. Just imagine the regular Diplotator, except with the cool colors, recolored to be Diplocolis and Irritator, because these two are honestly one of the coolest looking creatures in the game. Not You're not the coolest, you just have really nice colors, and I'm really glad I kept you around for, like, a Dinosaur Story Part 2, which should be coming out in January, and reminds me that I also have to work on the third movie as on top of everything else I need to do. Oh, YouTube, you have really ruined my YouTube. You really filled my plate up to the brim with chores. YouTube chores. Anyway, uh... Nullifying Strike, Ferocious Strike, Distracting Impact, Fierce Rampage, Nullifying Counter, Swap and Distraction, and a bunch of other resistances. I'm not gonna go too much into this because it literally is just a better Diplotator, which I have also reworked, and that's again another episode for when I eventually do the Diplocolises and all of its friends. Whew! I'm running out of breath here. What am I gonna run out of? Take your bets, people. What am I gonna run out of first? My breath or battery? I'm thinking breath. Actually, no, battery. We'll do Rebel next because it's like... It, again, uh oh, <laughs> right. I actually made a dinosaur named Maria, which is just a, a bit of a joke character from like season four. I mean, sorry, season two of Gang Cretaceous, where Sammy just names a random Sinoceratops Maria. And I'm like, well, maybe Maria's the same thing. And it's like, whatever. I, I didn't. I didn't put too much thought into it. I just didn't want to, like, make a... I just needed a sinus... I didn't want to make a sinoceratops jet. Honestly, my thought process behind this wasn't too much. I was kind of sleepy when I was doing this one. But it's like, whatever. I just I just felt like I wanted to create something. I made Rebel. So, what did I do? A Spinosaurus sinoceratops hybrid. A Spinino, if you will. Uh, heavy Strike, because... Which, again, needs... This, is, this one needs the buff the most. All of... It literally doesn't carry anything over from it just cleanses and then removes speed increase precise bypass armor attack it doesn't even implement vulnerable like the at like Derek determined strike does at least make it implement vulnerable that's all I'm asking lethal rend which again is covered from the spinosaurus group taunting shielded impact which I actually gave to Maria I think also you had resilient strike and group taunting and shielded impact there's nothing too much you're missing here so it's not that bad rending attack nothing too special here actually uh, not even wounding no escape, just regular no escape. And then bleed and stun. I didn't want to make you too OP, I just wanted to make you like... I just wanted to add you in the game. I would I would honestly really like to see a Spinino in the game. Actually, how can you market an adult Spinino? Because really, all you can... If, if it really is just a Sinoceratops with a sail on its back, then it's really not that marketable. Because it's like anyone could just glue a... Chop off the sail of their toy Spinosaurus and then glue it to their Sinoceratops toy. It's like, not that big a deal. But anyway, I digress. Maybe they'll surprise me in the future. They surprised me with Scorpius Rex. One of the, the hap, th those were one of the best updates ever added to the game. It's like, Scorpius, I, I just love it. And then the Wyvern, just the regular Wyvern. A combination of Quetzalcoatlus and Albertosaurus. The Quetzalberta, if you will. He this one actually does have a picture. Here you go. Uh, group Defense Shattering Strike, Fearless Flap, Killer Instinct, Taunting Shields, Ferocious Counter, which is an ability I made which, where it cleanses, taking damage, it cleanses damage reduction, and then increase damage by 50% for two turns, one attack, and it can just rack up damage. It has low damage, it'll just keep racking up damage, and then eventually go for a massive hit. That's my idea for the Wyverns. It also has Obstruction to Flight. Not the best on escape ability, but it's like still a good one to have. Does it pin? It does not pin. It just cleanses all negative effects, increases speed, and crit chance, actually. So, honestly, uh, I just wish Eagle looked better, then I'd actually be... I mean, uh, Haas Maximus actually looked better, then I'd actually want to use it more. Oh, wow, your actually resistances are a lot worse than the other one. Oh, well. By replacing the tiny arms of Albertosaurus with the massive wings of Quetzalcoatlus, InGen was able to create a makeshift dragon, the Wyvern. Though its bones are too heavy for flight and it's incapable of breathing fire, it is still a marvelous sight to be seen in Jurassic World. And I'm honestly dying for Ludia to do something like this. Ma like, your pterosaur hybrids don't look too interesting. You could easily have some- make just make a new model like Scorpius Rex where you just replace the arms of a theropod with the 
the wings of your Aztecs, and then you'll be like, oh, so good. So good. I would love to see something like that. Oh, wow, 10 minutes, and I haven't even gotten to the bigger hybrids yet. Huh, only nine legendaries. Could have sworn there would be more. Then again, these are all just the reworks. Here's Angel, the other Spinino. The Actually, Rebel was the one that was leaked. Angel wasn't even the one. The Angel's like the second one. Uh, what did I, what did I give you? Uh, similar stats. Uh, I don't know, not, I think I gave you, like, more damage, uh, less armor. I think I mean, I, one of you was more aggressive than the other. That's how I made it. Cleansing, oh, oh God, I, I, I hit something. Cleansing minor rending attack, which you get through spine swords. Dig in from Sinoceratops. Rending take, I, did I give you any new abilities? Okay, yeah, I see. I gave you Spinosaurus, and I gave you Instant Charge, Lethal Instant Charge, which is basically a combination of your Lethal Rend and your Instant Charge. Uh, target, highest damage, attack times one, 75% chance to stun for one turn, damage over time for, like, two turns. And honestly, and co delay one, cooldown two, makes sense. I use the icon for Toxic Quills. Uh, yeah, I really like this build. I actually like Angel's uh, stats a lot better. Who would be the more popular one, actually? Angel or Rebel? Ah, who cares? Angel's <laughs> Angel's a better name. Swap in Stunning Strike, Wounding No Escape, or Wounding Obstruction, if you will. And again, Lackluster Resistances, but it's immune to two really important ones. I didn't want to make it too OP. I just wanted to, like, make a version in the game. And then, of course, maybe they won't add Angel and Rebel to the game. Maybe they will just add a Spinino. And I really hope they do call it Spinino, because that name is just so fun to say. Pachycephalosaurus plus Ceratosaurus equals Ceratocephalosaurus. What a mouthful of a name. Okay, uh, what did I do for you? I gave you a lot. These two are from the Ceratosaurus. Take a read of those if you will. Decelerating Impact comes from the Pachycephalosaurus. Rampage and Run also from the Pachycephalosaurus. Exposing Counter from Ceratosaurus as well as this. Swap and Charge is a move I made exclusive for, exclusively for the Pachycephalosaurus and all of the, uh, the Stygimoloch and the, the, not the Draco Rex actually. I didn't touch Draco Rex because those guys are solid. Those guys are good the way they are. Crit Reduction, uh, I mean, immune to crit and stun, and then Im uh, slightly immune to deceleration. Ceratocephalosaurus can deal devastating damage to their enemies due to their thick skulls and horned noses. I actually never gave, did I? Uh, apparently I didn't give descriptions to Angel and Rebel. Because the, I didn't want to, because it's like they already have certain abilities or something, whatever. Also, also the, the drawing for the Cer Tornado, not my best. So, sorry, not Cer Tornado, Cer... Cer Ceratocephalosaurus, which, uh, honest, actually, someone on the Discord made a really nice redrawing of it, and it's just, shout out to that guy, man, you are awesome. Uh, anyway, here's Deinonychanus, which is a combination of Direwolf and Deinonychus, which is actually a toy. I believe he appeared in a Dinosaur Story 2. Another Dinosaur Story, yeah. Uh, I forgot his name, but it's like, that was my first introduction to it, and I'm like, hey, why don't they use those creatures in this game? And here we go, Direwolf, Deinonic Anus. Uh, what does it have? Not the best stats. I think I made you too OP before, so this is the nerfed version. Cleansing, Shattering Strike, High, Pounce, Rending, Takedown, Group, Sidestep, which has a cooldown of 2. It used to be spammable, but now not anymore. No Escape, and then just some lackluster resistances, as always, to make up for the fact that it has, like, a really good ability combination. No description either, because I don't know much about the real Deinonic Anus. Dredno Taurus. This is a combination of Dreadnoughtus, which I will get into when I eventually cover Brachiosaurus and its friends, and Toro, which I have covered in episode one, I believe. Uh, I did I give Toro a rework? I think I actually gave Toro a rework since you last saw him. Uh, superior vulnerability, uh, group taunting, shield strike, restricted group distraction, and devastation. Uh, greater rending account, counter attack, camouflage on escape. I actually added that to Toro. And then, what are your descriptions? Dreadno Taurus may look threatening, but this species is actually quite docile. However, they do become more aggressive when threatened. Uh, no drawing, because again, I have yet to cover Brachiosaurus and friends. Next up, we have Maya Berta, which I will not be covering in any episode, so unfortunately, I do not have a drawing for you. Unless I actually do cover the Hadrosaurus one day, which I might do one day. Someone actually wanted to, to rework the, the Hadrosaurus to be, like, more directed towards single player i'm kind of against that because it's like we the, the the hadrosaurs are dedicated healers which makes them viable super viable for raids and eventually 
if Ludia does add some sort of 2v2 battle system, then I would really like that. Then the Hydra Swords will be just very useful, especially their hybrids. I'm saying that. And I think I, the reason I made this guy is because I just wanted to make a super slow creature that just relies on priority moves. So we end up with instant nullifying trick, instant rampage, killer instinct, and alert instant shield and impact. You're welcome, but I did give it a little description to make it a little more official. Maya Berta live in large herds with other hadrosaurs. When nesting, they build their nests on the outer edges of the nesting grounds, using their sharp teeth to fend off nest invaders. They're basically the guardians of the nesting ground. So they're herbivores, but they will they will be uh, fight back if you mess with their babies. Next up, we have Spinopatosaurus, one of my ooh, one of my uh, lackluster hybrids in terms of design. Ooh boy. Cleansing minor rending attack, resilient impact, rending takedown, lethal wound, no escape. Again, I'll have to cover that in more depth when I cover the Spinosaurus. The Spinosaur Spinopatosaurus is often confused with Ardontosaurus due to their similar appearances. However, the Spinopatosaurus can switch from bipedal stance to quadrupedal, as seen in the drawing, which I did draw it in its quadrupedal stance. Some something like an arc, but of course, when it comes to the animation, it's gonna just be a quadruped. Stegoceratops Gen 2, because I want a better Stegoceratops in the game. And it's based off of the Pentaceratops, which I have yet to cover. That I'll do when I eventually cover the reworked uh, Ceratopsians, or whatever. Uh, Resilient Strike, Dig In, Taunt, New Thagomizer, which it gets from Stegosaurus. Uh, Greater Stunning Rampage, Media Resilient Counter, which, again, I'll have to cover when I do Stegosauruses. Uh, Swap In Stunning Strike, Stunning Obstruction. Oh, uh, something's wrong with my throat or something. Signs that I've been recording for too long. Reduction, damage reduction. I'll have, to, I'll have to go more in depth when I eventually cover these two. But it's like, this one, I may actually have to draw you. Actually, no, I won't draw you. It'll just basically just be Stegoceratops, except instead of the curved horns, it'll actually have the straight horns. It'll be like the one from Jewy 1, which uh, unfortunately is no longer in Jewy 2. That's big sad, because I really like that one and Spinoraptor and, uh, um, uh, Dread. I uh, mean, uh, Ankylodocus, don't miss that one. Stegophakion! I think you all remember, the, if you've been a longtime fan, you might remember this one. Here's a drawing of it. Combination of Amphikion and Stegosaurus Gen 2. Health, I, I think this is the nerfed version, perhaps? I think it is. Uh, gave you distraction resistance, deceleration, immuni deceleration immunity. Oh, you have a description, actually. You can read these yourself, but it's like, I've already gone through this many times before. The armored plating on the Thagomizer make this canine a lot slower than most wolves. However, it gains more defensive and offensive abilities to protect its kills from rivals. And, uh... Oh, you know what I just realized? You know what I just realized? This website, the reason I only have nine, is because this does not include super hybrids, which is only three. Wyvern Gen 3. You can take a look and read of its, uh, what, no, what's your real name? Tyranniqua. Is that its name? Or, uh, Alancor Rex, perhaps. I don't remember what I gave you the name, but I think I like Tyranniqua better. Uh, here are your abilities. Uh, your resistances shouldn't be too good. Uh, they're pretty lackluster. They're not, they're not actually immune to anything important. I guess vulnerable is important, but they're not immune to, like, any of the big ones, like deceleration or stun. So that they're not OP, because these, these guys have some, a really strong combination of abilities. Uh, then we have its description. The Tyrannosaurus DNA makes this the most aggressive of the wyverns. Unlike the other variants, this one can grow to much larger sizes and is capable of crushing bone with its jaws. Furthermore, to make up for its lack of speed, it can perform a powerful flap that can blow leaves off of trees and stun its prey, though at a tremendous cost of the wyvern's stamina. Oh uh, yeah, that's probably my favorite description out of all of these. I, I love the Wyvern Gen 3, aka the Tyranniqua. And now we move on to the super hybrid, starting with Allotator, which is a combination of Diplo Gen 2 and Allosaurus Gen 1, not Gen 2. Uh, nullifying Strike, oh, loads damage actually. I think you really are just meant to be a stronger Diplodator Gen 2. And then, despite its predatory ancestry, Allotator isn't as aggressive as scientists assume. They do, however, spend a lot of time underwater. Not the most flattering description, honestly. I didn't put too much love into this guy. Even your design isn't that great. Sorry, buddy. 
And Kylo Rathomimus. This is a combination of Bumpy and Prosa Rathomimus because I love both of these dinosaurs a lot. But and Kylo's Bumpy and Stygimoloch is equally as lovable because I love both of those creatures as much as well. Uh, let's see. Superior Vulnerability, Group Taunting Shield Impact, Distracting Rampage, Shielded Sidestep, which has no cooldown. I might change that. No, no, I won't, because Critical Sidestep is a thing. Nullifying Counter, uh, from the Pros Wrath of Mimus. Stunning Alert, Bone Break, which I've cut, which, uh, has actually not been covered yet at this time. And the description- oh, all the resistances, actually, because I felt like- I think I reworked Pros Wrath of Mimus to have some better resistances, but I didn't give it too OP of a resistance. Anyway, the additional armor makes this super hybrid slower than most Ornithomimus, but they gain a small chance of surviving a large carnivore's bite. Honestly, pretty much the same as the Stegophikion's description, just a little more defensive than, like, rather than escaping, rather than, uh, getting killed or something. Oh man, this is gonna be a long video. Will I even have time to do everyone? Oh, Kevin's up! Kevin's up and at him! Antello Rampa Chops. Alert Pitting Strike- oh yeah, here's the design. Not my best work, but honestly, it's pretty cute. Alert Pinning Strike, Revenge Accelerating Impact, Mutual Fury, and Revenge Wild Rampage. Honestly, a much better one than Antelosaurus. Because that one was falsely advertised with its ability. Urgh. At least mine has a reason for Wild Rampage. Has a reason for its cooldowns, because it's like, it's too OP. It needs that. Then we have Swapping Wound, Wounding No Escape, all these resistances, and the description. These creatures have thin layers of skin between their legs. Though they are classified as wings, these animals are too fat and heavy to fly. <laughs> just, uh, I'm just making fun of my creatures at this point. Apparently, all of my uniques are classified as super hybrids, because I have I have not made any Compsicolis esque creatures where it's only like a regular hybrid. Anyway! Afrobazoptrix, you saw him last episode, uh, sorry, a few episodes ago, so I won't cover him too much because you, you already know who he is. And uh, the description down here, I'll just read the description. This super hybrid spends most of its time on the ground scavenging for carcasses. Not much to go on because you've already, you've probably seen this recently. Here's a picture of it, and now let's move on to the next one because there's like 19 of these, oh my gosh! I better go this quickly. Speed run! Alaraptodon. Here's a picture of it. One of my favorites, honestly. But this is a nerfed version because it's like I had to, like, make it a little more balanced. Uh, Alaraptodon. Hunt alone. But it is not uncommon for them to flock together to take down large prey. They are basically raptors with wings. Oh, love that description. Love this guy. Love Pteranodon Gen 2. Let's move on to um, Ankintronix, which was one of my first hybrids I ever made. Grim and Ankintrosaurus. I covered Grim in the past. Uh, I think I gave this thing a bit of a rework. I gave you alert instant heal as opposed to just regular group heal. Um, the rigid spikes on Ankintronix's back allow it to pose as rock formations in rushing rivers, setting up the perfect ambush spot for unsuspecting prey. Is it that perfect? I don't remember. Archaeodactylus. This one I have yet to cover because I have not done the Ornithomimids yet. Uh, terrible HP, actually, just looking at that now, but I think that's mostly due to its abilities being pretty good, and it's- Oh, it's slow. Ah, you're- you're in beta version, so nothing's official with you yet, even your description. When startled, Archaeodactylus will rapidly flap their arms in panic. Yeah, I definitely just rushed you, didn't I? But I did give you Taunting Screech, so yeah, that's a- that's a new ability I made for you. Sarah Tornado, you also have a picture? But it's like, ooh, not the best work. Unfortunately, the guy who made Pachy's Ceratocephalosaurus did not draw one for you either, unfortunately. But you're still, you still have some good abilities. With Ferocious Shattering Impact, I unfortunately I couldn't find a good uh, abil uh, like icon for you. My throat is dying. What is your description? Sarah Tornado are much slower because of their armored backs, but gained a lot- Oh my gosh, did I do that for every single- Wait, when? What? I thought you were s Huh? Huh? Purasaurus? When did that happen? You were Notosaurus! Did I change it? D did did I- Huh? I'm confused. You might still be in beta, actually, then. I'm confused with you. Uh, uh, or maybe I- maybe it used to be Notosaurus, but I reworked you or something. Diploceratops, uh, nullifying st this is another one in beta. Do you even have a description? You do not have even have a description yet, so I'm gonna skip you because you're not officialized yet. 
Geo has, you've seen this in the past. I, I, again, I have yet to redesign your crests to make look more like a Geo Sternbergia. But I did give you a lot of good ability. I think I reworked your ability here. Daring Strike, Fearless Alert, Restricted Group Distraction, Rampage and Run, Precise Shattering Counter, Alert, Roost, and Absorb, and, uh, uh, Here's a description, a little known fact about Geohast is that they were given sp special genes that make them more passive. Because of this, these colorful lizards can be kept as pets. I forgot to, th to, got to think about how expensive it would be to make one of these, so unfortunately no, they cannot be kept as pets. They're too expensive. They're like a, they're like parrot expensive. Georanosaurus, I, I, literally the only reason I made you is because we have Dio Rajasaurus, and I wanted to make a joke, because that guy's name is Dio, so you are Geo, you're Geo's son. Geo Rano. Geo Ranosaurus. That's basically the joke out of this. Uh, Lacerda Lux. This is another one in beta. Do I even have you? Do you have a description? You do not. This is a combination of another Parasaurolophus Lux hybrid. I know I, I've stated how much I dislike this, hi this dinosaur in the game, and yet I've given it two different hybrids. Hypocrite, Zane. You're a real hypocrite. Uh, lethal Acceleration. Uh, all these abilities, you'll have to look at them yourself. I'm rushing here because I want to reach that 30-minute mark. The eerie glow of Lacerda Lux means the this large lizard is impossible to miss. The species still manages to thrive as it doesn't re rely on stealth to claim a victim. Okay, then. Yeah, I cannot wait to draw a glowing, frilled monitor lizard. That'll uh, honestly be a really cool-looking creature to add. Pokeiprodi, you're also in, in beta. I You do not have a description. And I think that is the same for Presto Canis, which is also in beta, because I have yet to cover the tall-legged crocodiles yet. Spinopostega, oh my gosh. I love this guy's drawing. It's absolutely stupidly ridiculous, and I love him. Um, all your abilities are here. The faces of these creatures could frighten the socks off of the bravest souls. I just had to make fun of it so much because its face is just so stupid. And then Spino Patadon's description. Uh, here are all of its abilities if you want to take a look. And then finally, help. That's the only description I have, help. Because the drawing for it, boom, there it is. Oh my gosh, scary. Spino Novenix, uh, Spi yeah, Spino Novenix is also in beta. It does not have a description yet, and I think I'm still working on it to become a better creature. Uh, I'll cover that when I eventually cover Overraptor and friends. Stegoceraptor. This is another beta creature, but I, apparently I gave it a description because, uh, whatever. This one's also combined with the Stegoceratops and Charlie, and I'll cover this one when I- will I cover the raptors or will I cover you first? It really depends which one I get to first. The cunning Velociraptor DNA combined with the defensive power of Stegoceratops resulted in a dinosaur with equal amounts of offense and why do I do that for every single hybrid? I need to change that description when I eventually get to you. Who's next? Stego Fecalis? We're almost done. Oh, I remember you. I remember- who remembers this guy? I remember this horrifying drawing I made of you. Why are all my hybrid drawings just ugly? The amphibious DNA from Diplocalis allows this super hybrid to swim greater distances than the average canine. The armored plates are curved back to increase the streamlined figure while swimming. See, that's a description! Why can't I do that for other dinosaurs in this game? Next up, we have Stigirusora. Here's my drawing of it, but let's discard that and just throw in this guy's drawing. I will put, don't worry, I put his name, I credit him. I'm not just saying this guy, I just don't remember his name, but I, by the time I do this video, I will have him credited. Shielded Sidestep. Uh, I think this is just another example of just, I made everything a priority move. Um, and unfortunately, this came out before 40 Rex, so I'm unfortunately I had to make, I poke fun of it by giving a description. The less popular cousin of 40 Rex, these hard-headed birds leave large dents in trees to mark their territories. Oh, I only have like 20 seconds left. No, Drago, this is Lux. I'll cover this tomorrow. Sorry, guys, I'm skipping you. And Wyvern Gen 4. Here you go. Here are all the descriptions. I'm not gonna make it in time. Um. Oh, well, you can look at all that. The Spinosaurus DNA gave this wyvern hybrid a small sail and longer jaws. These new features allow the Spino wyvern to bass quicker and get a better grip on its prey. Oh, okay. That's all of them. I'm not going to... I'm unfortunate. I do have two more, but they are apexes and they... Do they count? So I'm sorry. I had to rush a bit at the end here. I want to make that 30 minute mark. Super hybrid. Mega hybrid. They actually listed mega hybrid as a description. Okay, but anyway, oh, my throat hurts, okay. 
Here we go, I have two of them. Marcy and Ultimasaurus. Let's start with Marcy. I wanted to make like an easy access apex. And I chose the two easiest ones. Monolometrodon and Indoraptor. These are the first two you get. And I didn't want to come up with a complicated name, so I just gave it an, a random name. Marcy, because that's my favorite character in Amphibia. Uh, and I, I'm, this, is, this, this definitely doesn't have anything to do with my theory. <laughs> my ridiculous, definitely uncanon theory that Marcy is Dr. Wu's daughter because they both have the same last name. <laughs> I like to have fun here. Here are all of its abilities. I will let, I have no drawing for you yet. I will probably go more in depth with you in the future, including your description. Actually, I'll read it right now. While in containment, this creature went on a bloodthirsty rampage, killing everyone involved with the project. When investigations began, no information on the creature could be found, not even its true name. Thus, the creature was named after the head scientist behind the project, Dr. Marcy. I did not call it Dr. Mar Marcy Wu because I feel like that would be too much. And now, the one I'm most excited for, Ultimosaurus. Oh yes, I love this thing. And I've already talked in the past about how I think these should be the components for it because it's like, Everyone has these things already, so it'd be, like, easy to obtain it. Ludia, make this happen, please. It's super slow, has the max health, max attack, super slow, uh, good armor. It's a wild card, so it's like, I want to make this thing as OP as possible. Ultimate Predator, which I'll have to get into in the future, but my throat is dying right now. All the resistances, no description, because we all know who Ultimasaurus is. And that is everyone. My my phone is dying of battery, and I, I am hungry. I, my throat is dying. I'm going to go watch Centaur World Season 2. See you next time. We'll be covering Ankylosaurs in the next episode. Bye.